Flying V is different from other airplanes because it doesn't have a separate fuselage. So all the passengers are located inside the wings and therefore it's a little bit smaller uh, and it's a little bit lighter weight than other airplanes. And it consumes much less fuel on long trips, uh, about 20%. Um, there was a couple of concerns with respect to the first flight. Uh, first one was, will it actually take off? <laughs> so will it rotate on the runway and will it uh, actually get airborne? Um, the second one was, will it be stable in the air? Uh, so, uh, and the third one, will it be uh, controllable? So would the pilot be able to control the airplane through its liking? Um, and unfortunately, all of these things were, could be answered with a firm yes. It did take off, it was stable, and it was controllable. So, so the airplane itself demands 20% less energy to fly the same distance and with the same number of passengers as uh, a state-of-the-art airplane is doing right now with the same engines, that's important. Um, we are looking into uh, including hydrogen as a fuel uh, to see if the Flying V would be a good uh, or better uh, platform to do that than a tube and wing airplane. So we're using part of the internal volume to uh, store uh, liquid hydrogen, so the, the cryogenic form of hydrogen, and then uh, combust that hydrogen in a turbofan engine. And I'm in, in constant uh, connection with cabin crew because they give feedback on the on the designs that I that I um, that I have made for the initial uh, floor plan of the airplane. And we also look a lot uh, also with the industrial design department of um, of TU Delft at the uh, interior design of the airplane to make sure the comfort level are at least uh, as good as we have now, or maybe to see if we can also raise that. I suspect that there will still be quite some time before the full-scale flying V will fly. There's first a period of um, uh, research that needs to be uh, carried out, that's what we're currently at the start of. So we need to figure out a lot of different uh, things with respect to the structure, stability, controllability, aerodynamics, uh, passenger comfort. A lot of questions are still floating above this, uh, this airplane. If we can firmly um, answer all those questions with a positive go, then still we need a development time of at least seven years. So I suspect also with the idea of uh, current airplanes being still in the fleet that it will be not before 2040 that we see this airplane uh, in the sky.